Medical gear is something that we should all have within easy reach pretty much at any given time during the day. This is my MyMedic MyFact bag. I'm gonna take a look at this little kit, what's inside, talk about it, so let's go. What's up crew, it's Chris with CloverTech. Welcome back to the channel. And before we get started, quick question. Do you have a first aid kit, medical kit, and or trauma kit? And if you do, do you have multiples? Let me know down in the comments below. Having some type of medical gear in a kit, in a vehicle, in your range bag, in your hiking pack, whatever it might be, I think is pretty doggone important. This particular little kit is the MyFact. That stands for My First Aid Kit and it's from our good friends at MyMedic. Before we get started on the contents, let's talk a little bit about this bag because the packaging is important. Uh, you'll notice right away that you have the MyMedic patch on the front, and you also have zipper pulls with the MyMedic logo. This particular patch I added myself just because I want it to be easily recognizable as a medical kit. I think that's super important. Now the construction of this bag, pretty doggone awesome. Uh, you have a Velcro uh, lined molly on the front. On the back, you have not only molly straps to add things, but you have the molly as well to attach this bag to something else. Convenient carry handle. And one cool thing about this bag that a lot of different bags overlook is this thing unzips completely top to bottom. So it's got kind of a clamshell style design when you unzip it making everything really easy to get to, really accessible. And you can tell there is a little bit of extra room inside once you unzip everything. Now that we've got it unzipped, let's dive in and see what all's inside. Now I have had this particular kit for a few weeks. Thankfully, I haven't had to use it. I did open it up and take a look inside. One of the things I noticed was a little coupon. And this is because if you read it here, it says that there was some supply chain issues on some of the supplies in this bag. So they put a coupon in there so that you could purchase those things individually later on as they come into stock. So the first thing we'll take a look at in here is something that in the firearm community, everybody talks about, and that is a tourniquet. You have a rapid tourniquet here. And one of the cool things about my medic is their packaging inside their kits. Uh, very clearly marked, easy to read, sealed up, so you don't got to worry about water and uh, weather and things of that nature, but do have the uh, tourniquet there. Here we've got a little bottle of uh, Super Wash. Now right here we have a good example of the packaging that my medic uses, which is awesome. Color-coded, uh, each package will contain multiple items color-coded to kind of where those items fit. Uh, in a medical gear scenario, these packages, when you're looking at these kits, keep in mind these packages contain multiple items. This is the tool mod. Also, you can purchase individual mods. I mentioned earlier the mod that was left out that had the uh, aspirin in it. And so I would just go in, use that coupon code, and of course purchase the, uh, the aspirin mod. This particular one has a whistle, a pin light, it uh, looks like tweezers, a thermometer, and some thermometer sheets all in that little package. Again, sealed up nice. It has the Ziploc style. Once you open it, you can rip the top off, open it, seal it back very easily, and you're good to go. Here is uh, some uh, antiseptic towelettes. So this is all of your alcohol wipes. It's very, very handy and needed. Uh, then right here, we've got all types of antibiotic ointments, burn ointments, things of that nature. Also handy in a lot of different situations. Now when we get into, this thing is crammed full, folks, of stuff. Here are the uh, adhesive bandages. Got plenty of those in there. Got a couple of the other mod packs here. Here is a mod pack. This is a uh, gauze mod. So obviously this thing has gauze, looks like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 different types of gauze in there, anywhere from two by twos to uh, three by fours. Two by twos are uh, a really common, really useful gauze, but that's in there. Quick clot, uh, that is uh, bleed control dressing that we've got in there. 
for those of you that are interested in Stop the Bleed. Got another package of adhesive bandages. And I'm going to tell you right now, name brand adhesive bandages. That's one thing about my medic and the stuff that they put in these kits uh, is definite primo stuff. They're not uh, cheap medical supplies for sure. Now, here's an emergency pressure bandage. Now, if you're not familiar with the MyMedic emergency pressure bandage, this thing works uh, a lot, my understanding works a lot like an Israeli bandage, if you're familiar with that. So, kind of a combination between uh, an ACE bandage and some of that athletic wrap, and then, of course, your normal gauze. And that does it for that one side of the bag. We've still got uh, the second side and then this little pouch right here. We're gonna go ahead and get into this little pouch right here because we have a yellow deal. This is the medication mod right here. And we have things like ibuprofen. We have things like uh, aspirin. And I can't pronounce these other names, but it looks like antihistamines and stuff like that. Keep in mind that while some of the gauze and other things in this kit uh, can essentially last forever, depending on the conditions they're stored in. You will have expiration dates on things like the medication. Uh, the good thing is my medic, when they're packaging up their stuff, they try to, of course, package it for maximum shelf life. And they also try to package it where when you get it, you're gonna have two to three years minimum on anything that might have an expiration date. And so here we got the space blanket. I like all of that. Space blankets, of course, can be used for a lot of different things, not only uh, in a situation where you need to try to raise uh, the body temp of somebody, that sort of thing, but emergency shelter as well. Uh, you can use that for uh, that instance even. We've got uh, Transcend. This is a glucose strawberry. Yummy. That sounds good, but they're a uh, non-medic. That's a uh, glucose treatment. So I guess if you've got somebody that's uh, diabetic and needs something really quick, you don't got to run out and try to find a banana or uh, some type of a power bar. You've got that handy. So this is interesting. I'm going to have to open this up. I am uh, a medical dum-dum when it comes to a lot of this stuff. Uh, Z-zips. What are they? Oh, it's a wound closure. Okay. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So that is just a uh, wound, little wound closure kit. So gotcha, gotcha. Uh, then we got mini wound closure mod. So again, zipped up. This does have two different things. It's got skin glue and then a pack of uh, Steri strips or wound closure strips. Again, multiple items in the mod packages. Keep that in mind if you want to, you know, resupply your kit or you're looking to add maybe a few things to the particular kit that you get and of course we've got gloves got to have gloves when we're talking about anything medical we have made a mess on the table but we still got plenty of other stuff paracord here paracord useful for a ton of different things and you've got it here in the my fat kit from my medic I don't know how many feet or anything, but that's quite a bit of paracord. And we were talking about the space blanket earlier. If you had this in your hiking kit or something like that, uh, and you needed to throw up a quick shelter, that space blanket, this paracord, a couple of little small trees, and you'd be pretty much good to go. Uh, glow sticks, also uh, something that can be really important if you're out there and you need access to light. Uh, really quickly also for signaling or something like that glow stick come in handy for sure we got an instant cold pack here so uh, you've got those sprains or uh, maybe those bee stings or wasp stings or anything like that where you need some type of a cold pack there it is my medic has it right here good lord we got all kinds of stuff this is an airway tool uh, NPA so Got that in there too. I don't know when I would end up needing that. We'll talk a little bit about the need for some of this stuff though uh, toward the end of the video. Then we've got some, uh, some powder that goes in water. This is uh, like a electrolyte supplement, uh, energy type, whatever, Gatorade style, crystal light style that you see. Uh, of course this stuff, I believe they had these at the SHOT Show Range Day 2022, the industry day at the range. Uh, they were sampling this particular brand, a uh, really popular brand. 
has vitamins, minerals, electrolytes, I think, all of that good kind of stuff. So you can throw that in a bottle of water. If maybe somebody's dehydrated, potentially that would help out. Uh, here we've got another uh, MPA, uh, an airway tool right here. Again, color-coded, sealed up all by itself. Pretty freaking cool. Uh, we've got this right here that I'm not real sure what this is. Um, it says super skin. So I'm assuming some type of probably dressing, uh, wound covering, bandage. And uh, I had to figure that out, quite honestly. We've got a CPR shield. So for those that are CPR certified, that uh, certainly comes in handy, having that CPR shield. Now, I carry um, a, a more advanced, a fancier CPR apparatus uh, in my bigger med kit. But it's nice to have at least something in the smaller one. Then we've got Nair uh, pressure gauze here. Uh, got some pressure gauze. Again, look how well all of that is sealed up. Pretty awesome. And I'm losing room on the table. There's so much stuff in here. Uh, we got chest seals. Got, uh, looks like two of them. Again, color coded. All sealed up and ready to go if you need them. Getting stuff back in this bag. There's so many things here. It's going to be a little bit crazy. There is some of our burn stuff. We've got burn dressing. We've got burn shield uh, gel and all of that stuff. So if you're out there building a campfire and something goes south, well, you would be covered. I see some tape in here. Tape always important, and I can't get it out. But we've got some medical tape. Now this is the uh, this looks like the cloth style medical tape, which is fine. Tape is tape. We've got uh, some more bandages, gauze. This is actually a, uh, a finger splint is in there. That's pretty awesome. I could have used that a few weeks back. Finger splint is in this pack. Uh, this looks like an ace bandage right there, uh, and then you got some stretch gauze. Uh, stretch bandage, compression bandage type stuff in there. And I think finally the only thing left in this bag, can you believe it, is a pair of scissors. Now these are cool. They're labeled My Medic uh, and just your typical first aid style, uh, first responder style scissors there, which is pretty doggone neat. Now when we were talking about the bag earlier, I forgot to mention, but all of the MyMedic bags, no matter which kit that you get, again, this is the MyFact, um, they are available in multiple colors. So you can pick a high-vis color, a red or an orange, or if your style is more OD green or FDE, well, they got you covered on that. Obviously, this is just the basic black. It's also important to mention, since we're talking about medical gear, that regardless of your medical expertise, it's a good idea to have a first aid kit, trauma kit, medical kit, something around. And I'll tell you why, even if that kit is a little more advanced than what you are, there's certainly some things in here that I would not feel comfortable uh, using or administering. But if you run up on, let's say a motor vehicle accident, right? Maybe there is a nurse there. Maybe there is an EMT, an off-duty EMT on the scene. Maybe there is a doctor on the scene and they do not have any medical gear or medical supplies. Well, you do, you can say, hey, I got you covered, run, flip open your trunk, grab your kit, take it to them, and then they can help take care of the injured people. It's really important to have readily available access to your medical supplies. That's why I recommend having multiple kits. Most motor vehicle accidents happen very close to the home, and we all know that most regular everyday accidents, like pulling a tendon in your pinky finger, actually happen at home. So it's nice to uh, have that stuff around to get those medical situations taken care of at least well enough that you can go seek professional medical help. Hey, as far as this one, I think we are done. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.